Okay, this game is very basic. We only need a background, some obstacles, tanks, bullets, and score display. We start with a 1200 by 800 window and layout size. And I will be using Firefox for this video. Inside the layout, we have three layers for background, gameplay, and heads up displays or HUD. Also, check the snap to grid and show grid options and set grid to 50 by 50. Now, select the background layer and add a background image. For the tanks, just create another sprite object. Load an image, make sure it's facing right, always to 0 degrees, and set origin point to middle. Since the tank needs to fire, add a second image point, bullet, and place it right. Now duplicate the animation and load a different color image. We'll be using the keyboard to control the tanks, but if you have a gamepad, you can experiment with that. For the movement, we need to add a bullet, bounce layout and rotate behavior, and flash to show the impact of the bullets. Set bullet to disable and speed to 100. Also rotate speed to 0. Now create some variables for the tank. Player number, active, and score. All of them are numeric values. Okay, heading to the movement. In the original game, you can rotate and go forward, but you can do both at the same time. This part is nothing new, just rotate if you press down a or D key. And stop rotating if both keys are not down. We can only move if we are not rotating, so if we press W, enable bullet behavior. And if W is not down, disable bullet. Now you see we can rotate and move. To stop that, just disable bullet behavior whenever rotates. Ok, we need some obstacles. They are quite simple, just more sprites. But now you see that we can go through the boxes. Here comes the fun part. 
will have a different object handle the collisions with the obstacles. So let's create a container. The advantage of a container is that all the objects inside a container are created automatically, and when they are picked in the code, they refer to their parent object, making it easier to select different instances of the same object. Now, on every tick, we set position and angle to parent tank. You can see how the glider follows the tank. And if we create more tanks, they are set properly. Finally, we will use these gliders to stop the tank when hitting the boxes. This way our tanks won't get stuck to the boxes due to collision detection.